Shalom, last time we don't praise on glow to you. How about you on shy about some cockadash? The bonus of the positive is a great millstone. So I touch the whole fillet. This puts in the shoe because for comes over to save charity. Or does the brother I'm gonna wanna buy it from the Birmingham Camp, Alabama, GMS. I just going to get to the sentence going to um by how people, you so called Nuclear Latino natives, natives two two thirds of Israel would rather just stay in the filthiness and the ways of America. You know, the philosophy is trusting it, trusting this place and you know, want to build instead of come back to the ways of the Lord, the real ways of the Lord, and not just the Lord, which the apostles, elders, elders and us and uh, brother and is on on the four corners of teaching the truth on the corners and on the internet. But I rather just cough and you know and not take it serious. You know, we're, we're telling you out according to the Bible, but I rather stay in these whorehouses, these churches, these Baptist churches, and in the ways of America. You know, trusting the the, the <clears throat> the philosophies of what these, these doubles, these doubles, these doubles, the, the, devils, the, the, devils, the Edomite, so called white people, what so called white people put out there, you know, but it's not gonna benefit you in the long run. It's gonna it's gonna be destroyed. You have a shot, the Lord, you have a shot, gonna destroy, destroy you, uh, so called nigger Latino natives, two thirds that didn't hearken and want, didn't um, didn't take the um, the ways of the Lord serious, you know, or come back to the ways of the Lord and to be the uh, delivered. So um, James one twenty one, wherefore lay apart lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. So two thirds of Israel, so called nigga Latino days don't want to put away the filthiness of this place, you know. Y'all wanna stay in, you know, the wickedness of it, you know, y'all just y'all in love with it, you know, y'all in love with a, a whore, America. Uh, you know, which is America, whore America, you know. I don't want to come back to the ways of the Lord, you know, come back to the uh, the light. I'd rather stay in the darkness, you know. You know, and this and this the the this the word that is going to able to, uh, which is able to save your soul, you know. Uh, having the wisdom, not have the wisdom, not understand of Yah Bashar you know, and learn, come back to your heritage, heritage, come back to the old ways. But y'all rather stay in this this new age and this new system of. So called white man or Edomites, what they pushing out here, you know, but it's not gonna benefit you. It's gonna, it's gonna like I say, y'all gonna be destroyed, man. Cause the Lord not dealing with this this world, you know. So, you know, um, from there, I'm gonna go to uh, it's Isaiah, I'm go back to uh, Isaiah 30 and 12. Wherefore, therefore, wherefore, thus said the holy one of Israel. Because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perversions and stay their own. So, you so called news, like 10 days, two thirds, y'all despise the word of the Lord, y'all. I say, y'all cast it away from you, you know, when we try to tell y'all the truth and try y'all give you the understanding of the word, you know, and, and then to follow the ways of y'all by Shem Shai, the Lord, who y'all ignorantly called Jesus Christ, which name y'all Shai, not Jesus Christ. No, but y'all right just staying with the Baptist church preachers preachers teach you in the ways of America. You know, y'all trusting this oppression. You know. But I say it's gonna not it's not gonna benefit you gonna be uh it's gonna be to your shame, you know, trusting in, in this um oppression that so called white man, you know, the good is they give you, you know, and it's money and so forth. You know, it's, it's not it's not gonna save you. You know, your money is not going to save you in the day of the, day of the Lord's wrath to come. So, um, I'm going to end it off with on Isaiah 13 and 13. Therefore, this, therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach, breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. So, this place in America, you know, is going to be destroyed soon, man. You know, it's going to catch you so called nigga Latinas out, out of. Uh, out of nowhere, no, not paying attention to what's going on in the news, not knowing that what's going on in South America right now, you know, it's going to come up to America, what's going on in Venezuela, the inflation, uh, people, you know, not eating, not having enough, not have not, have not enough money to eat. It's going to come here to America soon, you know, inflation, and people are going to be out starving, riding, fighting, you know, just, you know, have a meal, you know, to survive. And we and we warn you, tell you about these things to come, and it's, and it's coming. But you so-called nigga Latino is in blindness and darkness. 
you know, gonna get caught off guard, you know, like a boxer not seeing that, uh, that right hook coming, you know, you know, and you're gonna hit him, like, you know, the boxer get hit with that, that haymaker, boom, you know, not seeing it coming, though. That's how it's gonna be for you, so called niggas like Tim Nazi, two thirds of Israel. Only to let Israel understand this and see that it's coming, you know, and not being, um, not being overtaken by the ways of this world, you know, and, and just trusting in Yahweh Shai. And day by day, it's just, you know, just, you know, hope to make, hope to make it, you know, me, you know, saying this for me and, and the brothers, you know, we're hoping to be a part of that number as well, you know, and hope to be delivered because, you know, this place ain't got long, you know. And the men, like I said, on only the let's see this, but on the two, well, on the two thirds, on they think that America's gonna go on forever, you know. But you know, like I said, it's not. You know, you're gonna be destroyed with it if you don't come up out of it. And why Michael two ten said, "Rise, you depart, is not your rest." You know, because this place will destroy you with a soul destruction. It's gonna be the nuclear missiles. You know, the martial law to come. Martial law, martial law, and nuclear missiles. And the Lord destroying this place. You know, we return with the chariots. And the angels. So you know with that, you know, I ain't wanna make it too long, just wanna go into that. So again, I like to give praise to Yah Bashan Shah Bashan Kakadash to the to the apostle elder to the six second brother, to the few aqua sisters to do listen. Uh, keep the keep the faith in Yahweh Shah, keep fighting with that H all the one.